What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. We're going to talk about Jeepers Creepers 5 a little bit more in this video here today, as well as just speaking on Jeepers Creepers in general. But before I go any further to discuss Jeepers Creepers 5, I need to get into what has been going on with Chicken Soup for the Soul Entertainment, which is the owner of Screen Media, who is distributing or had distributed Jeepers Creepers 3 and 4 and apparently have something in place to do 5. Now, back in June of 2024, Chicken Soup for the Soul Entertainment, parent of Redbox, filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy, disclosing nearly $1 billion in debts. This is from Variety. It says, Chicken Soup for the Soul Entertainment, the entertainment company that operates Redbox, Crackle, and other businesses. I think Redbox has stated they're closing down. I wouldn't be surprised if Crackle is next. Filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection after failing to pay employees and vendors for at least the past four weeks. The company's June 28th bankruptcy petition was filed in the U.S. Bankruptcy Court for the District of Delaware in the filing chicken soup for the sole entertainment listed totals total debts of 970 million and consolidated assets of 414 million as of March 31st, 2024. It says as of March 31st, Chicken Soup for the Soul Entertainment reported cash and equivalents of 4.9 million, which included 4.6 million of restricted cash. It says creditors listed on Chicken Soup for the Soul Entertainment's bankruptcy include Universal Studios Home Entertainment, which is owed $16.7 million, as well as Universal City Studios Productions, which is also owed $16.7 million, Sony Pictures Home Entertainment, $9 million, BBC Studios Americas, $9 million, Walgreens, $5 million, Lionsgate, $4.6 million, Walmart, $4 million, Vizio, $2.75 million, Warner Brothers Home Entertainment, $2 million, and Paramount Pictures, $1.96 million, and Paramount Home Entertainment, $1.2 million. As of the date of the bankruptcy filing, Chicken Soup for the Soul said it had about 836 full-time employees and 197 part-time employees. In a court filing, the company estimated it owes employees approximately $3.52 million in unpaid wages and also is obligated to pay $2.24 million in health and welfare benefits and $594,204 towards workers 401k plans it says the company disclosed that it was unable to make payroll for the first two week period ending on june 14th 2024 now it says the company had previously reported in an sec filing that on june 11th 2024 chairman and ceo bill rohana had dissolved its board of board of directors rohana stepped down as ceo on june 24th according to bankruptcy court documents now I want to talk about Bill really quick. Mr. Ohana has quite a list of people that are not happy with him right now, as you could expect from a report I just mentioned there. A quick Google search led me to a thread of people calling for him to be sent to federal prison for wage theft, tax fraud, and more. Lawsuits from ex-employees have started as well. How does this correlate to Jeepers Creepers 5, though? Well, keep in mind, Myriad Pictures who is claiming they have the right of first refusal and claim that they reminded Screen Media not to interfere with their rights in any sort of capacity. They are claiming, well, on belief, they, they are believing on information and belief that Seth Needle, Dave Fannin, and or Mark Damon of Screen Media formed a conspiracy with O'Hoven or Jake Seal from their respective companies, Infinity, Brandon Farm, Oral Distribution, and PVS, they believe they formed a conspiracy in about the fall of 2019 to defraud Myriad out of its worldwide distribution rights to Jeepers Creepers 4 and 5. Screen Media, like I mentioned, is owned by Chicken Soup. And even prior to being bought by Chicken Soup, you can look up Screen Media and see all of these similar allegations. Something about Screen Media and fraud just seems to go hand in hand. There's all these constant fraud allegations. Myriad is alleging their interference with Jeepers Creepers 4 and Jeepers Creepers 5 has caused them $2 million in damages with the total number to be revealed in court January of 2025. I say all of this just to again highlight. Jeepers Creepers' biggest obstacle right now is being caught up in what I can only deem an indie film predatory scheme of sorts, as far as I can tell. Myriad Pictures claims that they had a treatment for Jeepers Creepers 4 ready in 2018, which I'm confident wasn't the Jeepers Creepers 4 we ended up getting. If anything, it was probably something influenced by the creator with the intent of having a new writer come in to flesh it out. And if Screen Media is bankrupt, I could see them either having these rights sold, if any actually exist, or 
if everything can be proven in court to be fraudulent on myriad pictures in maybe everything that was fraudulently created is just terminated with the help of their lawyers and then thus the rights to jeepers creepers 5 to screen media are no longer existent and you can possibly look forward to a more competent put together film that's not to say that jeepers creepers 5 would be anything competent just because legalities are resolved but if anything we could at least be removing people who you could argue don't seem to have a true passion for filmmaking because this is just ridiculous i literally looked up the ceo the chairman i should say of chicken soup for the soul and found a thread of employees i guess red box employees it looked like not happy wanting him to be reported to the fbi or the irs wanting him wanting him imprisoned seemingly wanting his head because of course you don't just screw around with people's money you just you just don't do that especially not with the economy we're in but i wanted to talk about that because that of course directly correlates to jeepers creepers 5 when you have chicken soup for the soul entertainment filing for bankruptcy they own screen media so that's going to impact them and as i pointed out yesterday if you're filing for bankruptcy that's another thing that makes me seem to go there's something that seems a little bit scammy about all of this it just seems very disingenuous and i hope that once we get to january of 2025 we'll start to hear some bit a bit more positivity around the future of jeepers creepers because as much as i can point the finger back at the creator this at this point has nothing to do with him he does not own Chicken Soup for the Soul Entertainment. He does not make Chicken Soup for the Soul Entertainment screw over their employees, allegedly, and do all these other fraudulent things. That's not falling on the creator of Jeepers Creepers. Jeepers Creepers' biggest obstacle right now is who is handling this when it comes to distribution, the alleged deals that are in place, fraud, conspiracies, and so much more, all of which are bigger than the creator. Because once all of this is resolved, and if you can find, again, something competent, I would wage, I would be willing to bet we at least will get something of decent quality. Something watchable like Terrifier. So if you can give me something like the Terrifier movies, a lot of us will be fine. I guarantee you a lot of us will be fine. But Scream Media and all this other nonsense with Chicken Soup for the Soul Entertainment has to be resolved. Myriad Pictures has to be compensated if they need to be compensated. And we need to be able to move on. And hopefully, like I stated, Michael O'Hoven and his group don't do what they did again if all of this is true. Because I would just love to know how did Scream Media even talk them into allegedly defrauding Myriad out of their rights? That's just really wild to me. That's the wild part. I don't I don't get it. But it seems to me that the biggest thing we need to get rid of is screen media. And once screen media is removed, then we could possibly have something to look forward to. And maybe it's that treatment from 2018 that they'll use. I'm pretty certain I would be willing to bet that that 2018 treatment was a story set 23 years later and picked up after those first two movies. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links on my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.